Hey guys, Game Prime 99 here. Welcome back to more Let's Play Sly 3 Honor Among Thieves. In the last episode, we took down the Mask of Dark Earth. And the last part we took down the Mask of Dark Earth and finished episode 2. So, let's go into episode 3. My favorite episode out of the whole game, Flight of Fancy. Bentley was obsessed. Every night he'd pour over the blueprints to Dr. N's fortress, looking for a way to get into the Cooper vault. He soon came to the conclusion that there was no way inside unless the gang picked up a dedicated RC specialist. An expert who had mechanical and piloting skills far exceeding his own. After weeks of searching techie chat rooms, he finally found someone who could keep up with him intellectually. A gearhead genius out of Holland named Penelope. She politely declined our invitation to join the team, saying she only works for the best. Apparently, her idea of the best was her boss, the Black Baron. A big time dogfighting champ up there in Holland. He's so good that he's even set up an international competition called Aces to attract worthy opponents. A few days later, she sent us a counter offer. If our gang could manage to beat the Black Baron at his own game, then she'd know we weren't just a pack of jokers, and therefore, worth her time. So, we got busy. With no time to lose, Bentley and Murray worked to put a plane together, while I got my pilot license the fastest way possible. We'd prove to this Penelope that the Cooper gang was up for the challenge, even if we were making it all up as we went along. All right, guys, here we go. My favorite level in Kinder Jet DJ Holland. This level, I am telling you, is my favorite in the whole game. Just because of the level design, really. I the level design the music, everything about this episode just makes me love it a little bit more each time I play. And it's been a long time since I played it, so I'm really going to enjoy this. I'm going to take it nice and slow, show you guys what to do. So, we have Sly to play as, but not in his normal costume, no. In his level exclusive costume, the uh, aviator costume. If we're gonna succeed in this year's Aces competition, we'll need to learn who we're flying against. What? They keep the flight roster a secret? Correct. In years past, competitors would go out at night and sabotage each other's planes in preparation for the next day's dogfight. I get it. So now they keep the lineup a secret, and no one knows who to mess with. Precisely. Looks like you're a good pilot, but we've only got one plane, and you'll be up there against dozens of bogeys. You know, normally I'd make some sarcastic remark about how overwhelmed I am by your confidence in me, but those are some grim odds. 
And, well, you know, I'm always up for some sabotage. Glad to hear it. Now, the roster is kept secret from the pilots, but not from the event staff. Do we have a mole on the inside? Our friend, Dimitri, has been hired to give color commentary during the dogfights. He'll know where the roster's hidden. Scout him out somewhere in the hotel lobby, but be careful. If you start a fight with the other pilots, we'll be kicked out of the competition. Sure, we all play nice until tomorrow. Then we blow each other to bits at 300 feet. Alright, so... First of all, you can't run. You can jump. You can't use your cane at all. And you are just walking like a boss. I love the missions where you play as Sly like this. So what we're going to do... We're gonna go talk to Dimitri, who we last seen in uh, Italy. Dimitri, funny seeing you here. Never pegged you as a flyboy. Like a dance floor with many lights, I have many profiles. They don't even try to understand the silky enigma of Dimitri. Bentley seemed to think you might have a copy of the Aces flight lineup. Is that true? And why should I talk to a two-bit Rudy boot cracker boss like you? Question mark in bold. Why? Looks like I'll need to intimidate him a little. Maybe I should try and violence, use a logical argument, or threaten to expose him. Uh. No, Dad. It's like Cooper. <laughs> Uh, let's see. Uh, I can tell why you got it mixed up with Star Fox. Conquer, Star Fox, anything. Um, let's see. You might want to think about talking, pal. I could always rat you out to the Black Baron, then you'd be out of a job. I'd have no job, and you'd have no not a flight like me. Go ahead, blow that whistle. I'll be seeing you in the loser's hot dog banquet. Listen, pal. We both know who will win in a fight between the two of us. I'm not looking to start something here, but you know I'll finish it. True, Black Man. In the mano a mano, you win. But look around, you soft sock. It's a supersized aviator blowout. Start the fight in hotel, and this qualification will be yours. You want that, Jack? We both know you're going to tell me. You wouldn't have bothered showing up if you didn't want to talk. So, spill it. No, but to talk is like sitting on a electric chair. The Baron has eyes, eyes and ears, ears and fists. Dimitri will be discovered, and the jig is big. This guy's paranoid. Looks like I need to calm him down a little. Maybe I should compliment him, and make him feel good. Swear to keep it all secret, or promise to protect him. I think it's square. Come on now, Dimitri. A man like you can deal with this Black Baron. You've got the best fashion sense of anyone I know. The fashion? Style? You're right. If I cannot dress him, I can certainly outsmart him. All is told through clothes. Okay, I'll talk a flight line up if you will agree to old Dimitri. Which I'll collect in a few months of time. A favor? There's no small time favor like... Will you water my fish or feed my plant? No way, bro! This old school mafia, blood pack favor, like movies, big time. This guy's a real nut job. Not sure I want to owe him. I could agree to the favor, refuse, offer him a bribe. Would a few coins maybe change your mind? I find it's a lot easier to talk when I'm rich. Bribe money? Le bling? Cash won't help me get done what needs getting done. I need Gang of Thieves, not Federal Reserve. No dice. I'm not in the habit of racking up debts, and I don't plan on starting now. No dice, no debt, no aces flight lineup. The choice is yours. Take debt and take flight roster. Otherwise, take away nothing. Okay, Dimitri. Hook me up with the flight roster, and we'll owe you. I, I said agree with the... <laughs> The bargain thing. To find I thought, light well, whatever. Look behind one of the tacky paintings in Black Baron's air hangar. It's hidden in secret safe. 
Art decryption lock, huh? I know just the guy for the job. <laughs> Stand cool. Here comes big cheese. I bid you all a most flamboyant welcome, my esteemed comrade of the sky. Welcome, welcome to another year of the Aces competition. We've got teams here from across the globe. Canada, Belgium, Ecuador, Iceland, Korea, and many, many more. Not the least of which is last year's deadly runner-up, Team Mugshot. This time, we're gonna drill you jokers full of holes. <laughs> now, we all know that in years past, some teams have engaged in a little good nature late night hype. Like when Team Canada stole Ecuador's parachutes. Or when Team Iceland saw the landing gear off Korea's planes. <laughs> or when Portugal put rat poison in Team Mugshot's coffee machine. Yes, yes, that was all so very funny, but no more. You know the rules. No, absolutely no. Is to leave the hotel after sunset. If my guards get you outside, No exception! This will be a fair competition! Same as last year and the year before! I've got the scars to prove it! I bid you all an exuberant, saturated farewell, pilots. Life, sleep like kings. And tomorrow, soar like eagles! Eh? <laughs> Okay, so <laughs> we finally get to just look around at this environment. This is just one level that I really, really enjoy the uh, level making. Like, it, it couldn't have got any better than this. And, uh... see this thing right here that's a wolf and he is not the friendliest little thing in the world but we will be getting to him later dad could you keep it down please thank you so right here you want to do this obstacle course the competition starts tomorrow. Where are all my guards? TV. So yeah, this another cool element of the game that just makes you good at the basic skills. Here, I believe you can get caught. But, I'm not sure. So. But yeah, just, just making your way to the top. That's all it is. Sorry, just us Black Bear and goons. Throw the switch and lower the drawbridge so that I can get up there. Sorry, pal, I don't see any switch. But 
But there just has to be a switch. I can't get in the Baron's hangar from down here. Hold on. I got an idea. It's gonna fall. Medieval, but effective. Thanks, pal. Sure thing. See you back at the safe house. Okay, so now we're gonna be playing as Bentley. And... Kinda forgot what happened. Oh yeah, catapult right here. Just put yourself right there, and I'll want you right up. If Dimitri's intel is accurate, the flight roster should be locked behind one of the paintings in this hangar. Okay, so. I think it's the right one. It's hidden underneath. I wouldn't swear to, but the passcode might be 917. Because I have a sick sense of memory. Let's see if it is 917 first. Something tells me it is. Nope. One of them is 917, but I believe you find it in the sky, and there it is, it is 510. And that wasn't even the right safe. This one might be 917. One of them was 917. No, no, this one's 223. 